Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Thanks again for joining us. Today we're going to talk about PFDs, personal flotation devices, or more commonly known as life jackets. The US Coast Guard has categorized life jackets, or PFDs, into five different categories. The one that I'm wearing now is a class three and is the most common, mostly used for canoeing, kayaking, or recreational boating. We'll show you which ones to use for the particular boating experience that you're going to have. The jacket that I'm holding here is a class one. You'll notice that it's a little bit bulkier than the one that I'm wearing, which is class three. Uh, it has some reflective tape on it, which is typical. And it has a collar, which is designed to turn over an unconscious person. It will do this with most unconscious people. You'll find this type used with most whitewater rafting companies. This is a class two jacket. It's typically made of foam. It's got a collar that is designed to turn an unconscious person upright. Um, could happen, maybe not. Could require some uh, treading of water to make that work. Some of these also come in an inflatable model that are favored by fishermen who don't want any of the bulk of the class two jacket. These PFDs are generally found on smaller waters or you might have a company that's giving boat rides in a small area and these are typical because they're easy to maintain, they're easy to hang up and dry, they're easy to put on and off. These are properly worn when they're tied at the top and the strap at the waist goes around the body and around the PFD. These jackets are the typical type three jackets. Some have zippers with a strap. This has four buckles and might be used more for water skiing. I was water skiing with a friend who had his PFD on but when he fell backwards, the jacket came up and it was over his nose. It was floating properly, but his nose was below the water. So remember to do up your buckles tight. These PFDs are typically worn for fishing, canoeing, or kayaking. They come in different sizes and should be sized for the proper fit. These are two of my favorite jackets that I used when I was a river guide. I like the flexibility, I like the lightweight, I like that they move. And so you choose the one that's gonna work for you. Type four PFDs are not something that are wearable. Rather, they're something that you might throw overboard to someone that's fallen. For example, a seat cushion with straps. Typical class four PFDs might include a seat cushion with straps, a ring buoy that's got some rope around it, or on a cruise ship, you might find a big horseshoe shaped PFD that they could throw if you fall overboard. Let's meet and try one out. A type five PFD is a specialized PFD that you generally wouldn't purchase unless you were doing a specific high risk aquatic activity, such as a swift water rescue, or maybe you're sailing um, or windsurfing and you've got a clip on it. And so those are jackets that you wouldn't uh, specifically look for or purchase unless you're very familiar with the activity that you're going to do. Whether you're rowing, canoeing or fishing, we hope that you choose the right PFD for your activity. And we hope that this has been helpful to you. Thanks for joining us and see you again on OSME TV.